discuss about micelles. M I C E L L S. Micelles are generally known as aggregation of particles. Formation of micelles takes place above the particular temperature, which is known as craft temperature. It is known as craft temperature and it is simply denoted as T K. Secondly, the formation of micelles also takes place above certain concentration known as critical micelle concentration. which is simply given as CMC. For soaps, the CMC that is critical micellar concentration is 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 3 mole per dm cube. Apart from this, micelles have two parts, lyophilic parts as well as lyophobic parts. Let us explain about this in terms of your best example, soaps. Generally, soaps can be given as the sodium salts or potassium salts of fatty acid which is generally represented as RCOO minus Na plus. When it is dissociated in water it forms two parts that is RCOO minus and Na plus. In the RCOO minus we have two parts R and COO minus. Since it is having negative charge it can attract positive charge which is from the water and it is hydrophilic and R is nothing but hydrocarbon chain and it is hydrophobic. So hydrophilic forms the head and hydrophobic forms the tail. So this is about the micelles. <music>
So, the factors which affect the Tyndall effect are the wavelength of the light used and the size of the dispersed phase particles. So, let us see how the wavelength affects the Tyndall effect. The scattering of light is inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength which is given as scattering is inversely proportional to fourth power of the wavelength. Hence, smaller the wavelength greater is the scattering and hence we can tell that the blue color of the sky is due to this reason. So, ultimately we can conclude by saying that the blue color of the sky is due to the Tyndall effect because the blue color has the less wavelength. Moving on to the second factor, the size. Smaller the size, greater is the scattering. Then the third factor is the refractive index of the dispersed phase and the dispersed medium. The refractive index which is represented as small n according to physics can be given for dispersed phase particles as mu p and the refractive index for the dispersed medium is given as mu m and we can calculate that by a formula which is given as delta mu is equal to mu p minus mu m. So that is all about the optical property. Now let us consider the next property which is the kinetic property. The meaning kinetic is something to do with the movement. So the dispersed phase particles in a dispersed medium moves in a zigzag manner or in a random manner. So we can write it like this. It moves something like this. So this random motion or the zigzag moment of the dispersed phase particles or the colloidal particles is known as Brownian moment. It was discovered by Mr. Brown and hence the name comes as Brownian moment. It is observed up to a particle size of 0.5 micron. Apart from this Brownian moment uh, suppresses the gravitational force and hence it is responsible for the stability of the colloidal solution. The next important property is the electrical property. Even the colloidal particles exhibit the charge. That means when electric field is applied, the charged colloidal particles move to the respective electrodes in the influence of electric field. So this process of movement of the colloidal particles to the respective electrodes is known as electrophoresis. It is known as electrophoresis. Based on the direction of movement, we can calculate the charge in the colloidal particle. For example, arsenium sulphide salt moves towards the positive electrode known as anode and hence we can uh, conclude that arsenium sulphide salt is negatively charged. <music>
smoke precipitator and the second one is removal of suspended impurities. The charge on the colloidal particle is the the charge on the colloidal particle is given by zeta potential or it is also known as electrokinetic potential which is simply represented as Z and the formula for Z is given as the charge on sol or colloidal particles which is simply given as Z which is known as zeta potential and the formula is 4 pi eta u divided by t. Where eta is the coefficient of viscosity d is the dielectric constant for the medium and small u represents the velocity of the colloidal particles. After finishing this, let us move on to the last segment of the colloids which is known as coagulation. Dear friends, you DVG YouTube channel subscribe to our friends. You can see the videos on the free